Yeah. Hey special family, welcome back to another video. I'm Autism Mom and on this channel we talk about autism and everything in between. Today is a fair use video reaction and let's take a look at this video. Damn. Okay, what am I trying? A1 steak sauce. I'm trying my steak with A1 steak sauce. Um, and if I don't like it, that's okay. I don't have to have the rest of it, right? Okay, did I get enough on there? Okay. okay. But don't, don't try just the sauce on its own. You have to eat it all as one. Okay. Um, I don't think I like it. Okay, so you've seen that video. Trying new foods for someone with autism is not an easy thing. If you've been following me from the beginning, you know, or most of you know that my son has autism. He's 11 years old. And trying new foods is almost a no. Never no. And just the fact that she is trying is a big thing for me. As long as she know that if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. And that is okay too. At least you try, right? So why do people with autism have difficulties trying your food? Someone with autism may be sensitive to the taste, smell, color, and texture of foods. They may limit or totally avoid some foods and even whole food groups. Dislikes may include strongly flavored foods, fruits, and vegetables, or certain textures, such as slippery or soft foods. That sums up my son in a nutshell. He only has like a handful of stuff that he likes and he will eat that over and over and over and never get bored. And if he would like to t try something new, it's a challenge. Sometimes he'll try it by just sticking the tip of his tongue out and you place it on there. And once he processes it, he'll decide if it's a go or not. So just for her giving it a try, I am so proud of you, girl. You tried and just know you don't have to. So let's take a look at the comment section and see what some of the followers had to say about her trying new foods. So this follower says, I'm so proud of you for stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things. You did great. The next follower says, when I try something new, it's going to taste bad for the first few times until I get used to it. Then I can get the real taste sort of unless it's terrible. That sounds like Ramsey. But then eventually if he decides, you know what, I'm going to eat that, he'll do it. And then she says, you know, I actually understand this. <laughs> Another follower says, bro, I'm so proud you tried something new. If I don't like it, that's okay. That's okay. You do you love. The world is yours. I agree. At least she tried. It is very difficult for someone with autism to try new food groups because of sensory issues with textures, smell, taste, yeah, etc. So she said, I love your comment. Thank you so much. Another subscriber says, awesome job. I have the same issue with other sensory experiences and I don't always handle them nearly so well. I have seen that happen with various kids with autism and it's almost like you're forcing them to eat, which you shouldn't do, but that's what it comes down to. So this, she likes the person comment. She says, thank you. It took me years to get to this point. Don't be too hard on yourself. And I agree. If they don't like it today, they might like it a few years from now. You never know, but don't force them. The next commenter says, so proud of you. I'm autistic and hate trying new foods, but will often find things I really like. You're doing so well. She says, thank you. It's not an easy process, but definitely worth it. She's a trooper. So if you would like to follow this beautiful lady, her TikTok handle is at Steph Miranda underscore. This is her page. Please check it out. Go show her some support. Subscribe to her TikTok account. And she also has a link that you can contact her for any other stuff on. 
All right, I hope this video was helpful or entertaining and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.